Hey, hey everyone, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, hi. How you doing? What's up? <laughs> what's up, everybody? It's Bro Man. We're back. It's video. We're doing video. What kind of video are we doing, Bro Man? <gasps> it's about Forsaken, but how? Uh, <laughs> chat. Uh, I wanted to chat. Oh, too much streaming. Too much streaming. YouTube. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about the Redrick's Claymore quest. Um, so if you don't know, this quest is, uh, uh, well, the Claymore Broadsword quest. So, you know, we all know that the, the Claymore is uh, the weapon you get for being, you know, an insanely great PvP god in, in uh, comp. And very few people got it. Uh, Bungie announced recently in the TWAB that they are going to be launching another weapon that had a lot of similar stats called the broadsword and, and there was a big uproar there was controversy uh about it and i i wanted to talk a little bit about you know I, i'm glad i waited on this uh, particular video to make so because there was some uh there was some clara clarifications uh, that were done and I'm gonna find those clarifications so I can read it to you. So basically people were really worried, uh, upset, concerned that when Bungie announced that, you know, basically they're having this Redrix Redix broadsword, which is kind of a clone of the Claymore, but with random rolls, uh, that they were bringing back that it would make uh, the trophy less valuable or it would cheapen it. Uh, because, you know, this, this, uh, this, this new weapon would be, you know, potentially better and easier to get. So we're going to grab this video or I thought I had this up. <laughs> so, uh, the question was whether or not this new weapon, which will be available for anyone who has the Claymore from day one, will be able to drop for anybody. So if you have the Claymore, you are continuously rewarded. Um, but if you want to get the broadsword, here's what you have to do. Step one. In Crucible, defeat 200 opponents with pulse rifle final blows. Step two. Reach value, Valor rank heroic. Step three. In Crucible, earn 75 double plays. Step four. In Crucible, defeat 150 opponents with precision final blows from any pulse rifle. Step five. Uh, defeat 50 opponents... With arc final blows, 50 opponents with solar final blows, and 50 opponents with void final blows. Step six, complete 25 quick play matches, 25 competitive matches, and 25 rumble matches. Step seven, complete 20 crucible bounties. Step eight, reset your valor rank five times in a single season. And then step nine is pick up the reward. Now, um... So inside of this, uh, just to highlight some of the more time intensive things, uh, in order to complete it, you would need to play 75 Crucible matches, all right, uh, just on step six um, in, in a variety of different uh, circumstances. Before you even get to that, you have to, you know, you have to get the double plays, you have to get the precision pulse kills, the, the, the normal, you know, 200 normal pulse kills, and if you're an average player, you know, we're talking 10, 20 kills a game. You know, I haven't actually paid attention to that. That's just my 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 guess number, which is probably wrong. So feel free to flame me in the comment section. Uh, and I know a lot of you are thinking like, oh, well, I'll just use my vigilance wing. OK, cool. Good point. Still going to be a lot of kills. Uh, you know, so we're, we're talking about the culmination of um, for an average player. This is going to be, you know, like 150 matches of of crucible probably um or maybe your shit uh 150 crucible matches and all of the valor rank resets and such after that um it's really going to be something you need to spend a focused amount of time on inside of a single season uh it's not something and i think this was the concern uh it's not something that i feel you're just going to be able to casually oh well i'll i'll get this like there is some there is intentionality as to you know what you have to play, quick play, crucible, rumble, how you have to play, arc, solar, void, final blows. You know, obviously focusing on pulse rifle kills, etc. Um, you know, and resetting your valor rank. You know, it's def it's rewarding people who are going to participate. Um, 
I think that this is uh, just as dubious of a grind uh, as it was to get the, you know, uh, as it was to get the, the Claymore. However, uh, I do still have that sort of, I don't, I don't know the right word to put it. Um, you know, it, I really would have preferred that this quest reward you a different style of weapon. Um, there's all sorts of discussions about, you know, whether or not, well, you know, Bungie, you know, not enough people got the, the Claymore. You know, it was, it is the rarest, if I understand things correctly, one of the rarest or, or the rarest weapon in Destiny kind of ever because it was so difficult to get. Uh, and, you know, people made choices on how to spend their time and, uh, you know, to get this weapon, to get, um, you know, the Claymore, they muddled through some incredibly unfun times in PvP. And some of the things that I saw on Twitter were people literally saying, there's no way in hell I would have done this if I knew that I could have gotten it another way. Um, and I still think that that complaint stands. But I do, I want to, you know, I want to say, you know, the, the big positive in this is the, uh, the concern that this Claymore or, uh, this broadsword quest, uh, would be cheap and, and simple and easy is, uh, I don't, I don't feel like that has a lot of ground anymore. I feel like it's a lot of crucible, you know, it's still going to be a pinnacle reward, hopefully. Uh, you know, an appropriate amount of people get it, which is what Bungie's looking for. Um, <clears throat> or, you know, that it still feels like a fantastic reward. Um, the fact that this weapon will be dropping for anyone who has the Claymore from, from moment one, I think is a huge win. Uh, cause it is going to take, I mean, if you want to get this in season four, you're going to be just playing Crucible <laughs> for a lot of your days. Um, it's going to take a focused cons uh, a focused effort for anyone to pick up the broadsword, uh, which is exactly what I think, you know, that's what Bungie's looking for. I think that uh, I would have preferred, and this is, here's my divergent uh, statement, I would have preferred that it required glory ranks um, instead of valor. I, I still think that having a, yeah, you have to play competitive, but... The idea that you had to win was, I think, really important. And I think one of the reasons why it was so hard to get this time was, you know, yeah, I think competitive is always going to be sweaty. But due to the lack of fun people were having, the community, the average everyday folks who were playing Destiny on the comp side were playing it because they wanted to get this reward. Uh, you know, it, and, and the, the player base was distilled. It was uh, isolated into... You know, especially on PC, like you'd run into the same matches with everybody all the time and it wasn't particularly fun. You know, you need a large pool of people to actually, you know, encourage fun play and, you know, meaningful competitive play that isn't against the same five folks every single time you you open up your, you know, your director. So I I still wish that there was a little bit more of a competitive side of things. I wish that was there was definitely a you have to win component to it uh, that doesn't seem to be present. Uh, for an average player, these requirements are not going to be met easily, I don't think. Um, especially with the raw amount of time necessary to compete and complete the 25 quick play competitive and rumble matches. It's, it's, it's a sizable bag of time you got right there. Um, but those are, those are my thoughts. Uh, I wanted to make a video right away kind of decrying the entire situation. I still do wish there was better communication about this weapon, uh, especially since it was billed as the trophy. And uh, one of the one of the few truly exclusive trophies in Destiny 2, um, you know, in my mind, reframing this to say, like, you know, you had to complete the Leviathan raid every single week for for an entire season. And, you know, you and your buds work around that and, and schedule that time. You get a reward and, and then they're like, oh, I'll tell you what, it's coming back in, in you know, it's coming back in year two uh, with, you know, all these little it's some changes. It's not the same, uh, but you know, like it's it just feels weird. So I really hope that going forward, we keep seeing weapons like the Claymore. Uh, I think incredibly rare weapons do a lot of good. <clears throat> For the player base, it constantly gives people something to strive to attain, try to get. Um, as you watch my incredibly average gameplay, uh, 
you know, it's going to take it's going to take time for people to get the things that they want. Um, and I like that. I hope that there's a few weapons like the Claymore. The Broadsword Quest is fantastic. Um, you know, it's it's complex. So I'd love to see more rewards like that going forward. I think that they, the trophies that people have in games encourages everyone, whether you are casual or hardcore, to pick a thing to go get. Um, it allows player agency and it allows folks to take their own journey inside of the game saying, you know, it took me 500 hours to get this piece of gear and I'm really proud of it. And that sort of storytelling really does a lot of if you want to get down to the bottom line, it's a lot of back end marketing. It does a lot of encouraging things and it keeps your player base engaged over times when things might not be as exciting. So that's my thoughts <laughs> on uh, on the Claymore slash broadsword. I hope you uh, enjoyed listening while I try to snipe this guy in the face. In the face. There it is. You know, not in the face, but I got him. Uh <laughs> Thanks for watching. Leave your comments below. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you next time. <gasps> Peace.